Thank you for coming in. <clears throat> Let me start the recorder. Please understand that while we know this is a trying time for you, we must have a complete account of what happened. The company takes the escape of an indentured very seriously. We need to be assured that the fugitive was dealt with properly. You do know the penalties for aiding and abetting are severe. Yes, sir. Then please, just start at the beginning. Okay, well, Gemini Mining sent out a distress call at 804 ship time. I launched the EV shuttle at 817. When did you first learn about this stowaway? Just 23 minutes into the flight. Executing Delta V on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. can't be on the shuttle. I know, and I am so sorry. I just had to try and get off the ship. I heard the warning signal, and I knew I had to take the opportunity. I mean, you're going to Gemini, right? No indentures, right? Yeah, but... What? You can't be on this ship. I know, and again, I'm sorry. I just didn't know when I would have another chance no, like this. No, 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 you don't understand. Just before this rescue ship was launched from the Titania, the system computer calculated the exact amount of fuel needed to decelerate the ship and land on the Gemini moon. So? So that calculation assumes a very specific mass. Your extra weight throws that off. Okay, but not by much. I truly don't weigh that much. What are you, about 50 kilograms? 45, max. So that means when the ship runs out of fuel, instead of being at a dead stop, we'll still be traveling at uh, 900 meters per second. It means me, you, and this ship would add a new crater to the Gemini moon. <sighs> Shit. Is that what you... No. The main injection burn wasn't for another 11 hours, so we just waited. We talked. So what's the big emergency? Why'd they dispatch you? Outbreak of Tellarian flu. I have to get that vaccine to them or the whole colony will get wiped out. So that's what you do? You just fly around from planet to planet, saving lives? Sounds noble. Usually is. So, when did you... Join the company? Yeah. I was 14 when my parents died. I had no legal guardian, so I was remitted to the company. I was pretty limber, so they sent me to the Kuiper Belt. Asteroid mining? Yeah. And then? 
Well, why were you on a transfer ship? They were sending me to the thorium mines on Titan. Thorium, wow. <laughs> yeah, I hear there's a running joke about the place. They don't measure the half-life of the ore, but the half-life of the miners. <laughs> so, so that's why you jumped. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you, but I could use a drink. So, I'm stuck in this window <laughs> with, with my with my bare ass hanging in the breeze when her mother walks in. No! <laughs> what did you do? Well, as formally as I could, I told the Duchess <laughs> That dinner was going to be served late. <laughs> what if? Cut off a limb. Mm. Like a leg. Or better, both legs. Would that work? You got any cutting tools hidden in one of those pockets? No. Mm -hmm. What if I overpower you? <laughs> <laughs> and throw you out the airlock. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm just, I'm just saying. You, you know how to land a rocket on an airless moon, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be some way to dump some extra mass. You think you're the first indenture to try to escape an EV shuttle? The company makes damn sure that every fucking gram has been removed. That's... The company. I was gonna say cruel, but... I guess it's the same thing. So... Am I really gonna die? Mm. So what happened before the injection burn? We were getting up near the time. We both knew what had to be done. She was surprisingly calm. Much more than me. And then she went into the airlock. Can you hear me? Yeah. I, I'm so sorry about this. I know. I don't know if I can do this. I want to thank you. Thank me for what? This? No. For talking to me? It was really nice to just meet a new friend.
I was able to put all this indentured crap behind me and just spend time with another human being. Thanks for that. You don't get much of that when you're It was really nice. <sighs> Thank you. Friend. <sighs> and I tell you what, friend. That moon. It's got enough fucking craters. So please, push the button. Save yourself. Save the colony. Are you there? Yes. Push the button! I can't. You can. And you will. Please. The waiting and not knowing when you're gonna push it is worse. Okay, you win. In five, four, three, Two. One. You did it. Yes, I pushed a button and emptied the airlock at 1847. Is there anything else you'd like to add to your report? No. I do have a few more questions. Brown, crew went over your ship. Yes. They were quite surprised to see that the navigational computer had been tampered with. Is that right? It had been completely removed. I, I just, I couldn't do it. I, I tried, but I, I couldn't. So you ripped out the nav computer? Well, it's a fairly hefty piece of tech. So, you were just flying blind. No sensors, no nav calculations. Well, yes, we had to rip it out before the injection burn. So how did you know exactly how long to sustain that burn? Well, that's where the company's due diligence came to the rescue. The system computer calculated the exact amount of fuel needed for the flight, so I just emptied the tank. Fine. But the landing, how did you land without all those sensors? Alicia told me. You flew by highball? 150 meters. 100 meters. 50. Yeah, it, it turns out she has a good eye for distance. She would have made a great pilot. And she rode that rocket landing from the outside. That, that's suicidal. Well, it's better than the alternative. Point? You do realize the damage done to your ship alone is enough to get you remitted. Not to mention helping an indentured to escape. You sacrificed everything to save her. Yeah, I know. But I couldn't.
You know, I wasn't always jockeying this desk job. I used to be a Navy pilot myself. I had my own stowaway once. His name was Jacob. What did you do? Let's just say uh, I'd wish I'd been as clever. You're replacing the missing parts out of your own pocket. And none of this goes on the official record. And as far as the company's concerned, Alicia Danvers died on that flight. Am I clear? Sir, yes, sir. She didn't know, did she? A few bumps and bruises from the landing, but she made it fine, sir. And Gemini Money will take her in? Oh, yeah, they they hate the company. No problems there, but she's safe, sir. Thank you. Dismissed. Sir. Sure.